Hey everyone, really quickly wanted to give a little disclaimer to skip. There is a timestamp below. However, I do recommend listening through at least once to have a better understanding of how tarot works. So how does tarot work? Tarot is meant as a guidance tool to help one see what may come and with intent be able to shift the energy to be more in favor. Please be mindful that all the messages on YouTube are for a general audience. They won't resonate every single time. I like to say if it's in the title, it's in the message. For information on the energy cleanse kits that I offer, the tarot course I've created, extended versions to the readings or the events that I will be attending, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. Hello, everyone, and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today, we're tapping into Sagittarius's weekly guidance message for January 3rd through January 9th. And in this message, Sagittarius, we're going to first tap into the energy surrounding you this week. We'll look at what's challenging you and what's to come of this energy. I'll clarify throughout the message as well as pull a few cards at the end for advice guidance moving forward. If that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Aquarius, what we can see for your upcoming energy. January 3rd through January 9th, please and thank you. Most important message here for Sagittarius. Spirit, what does Sagittarius need to see? Sagittarius, we're going to clarify all of this energy here in a minute, but this is some heavy energy. The energy surrounding you this week is a missed opportunity, and I feel here this is a, a significant opportunity that you are missing. And I feel here this is because of somebody that is surrounding you, that is holding you back. They're not telling you everything in the present moment. The challenge here, Aquarius, is I feel you may be trying to rush. There's something here you're trying to rush, whether this is a relationship, maybe this is a business venture for some of you. You're rushing and there's a need to take your time with this, okay? Now, there is a need here the what's to come if you stay in this energy you're going to be waiting for things to pan out okay i feel here aquarius there is a need to maybe if this is business venture career opportunity get clear on the plan okay be very detail oriented when it comes to this planning or this business plan make sure all your i's are dotted all your t's are crossed because a business plan is meant to help you when challenges arise down the road. Think about it. For instance, if you're running a bakery and you have uh, 36 wedding orders this summer to get out and you've just now started and didn't have a business plan in place, so one of your vendors that supply your flour runs out and you didn't have a business plan in place, so you didn't really have a backup plan, now you're kind of rushing, scrambling, trying to find another person, another vendor to bring in flour. However, if you had a business plan and you would have thought things through very strategically, paid attention to all the details, thought through any challenge that could come up later down the line, for instance, a vendor running out of supplies and needing to find a new vendor, 
you have a couple options at least. And that's the difference of being strategic, having a business plan, planning it out. Now, I do feel like you are headed in a positive direction. I don't feel like this opportunity is a very serious missed opportunity. Even though we do have the Ace of Pentacles, we are going to clarify here in a minute. I do feel like you are headed in a positive direction, Aqu Sagittarius, Aquarius. Because if you notice, we have the Emperor coming out with where this is headed. And that is a very... That is also a leader position, okay? So let's clarify all of this here for you, Sagittarius. Now, if you're finding the messages helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel and getting the message out. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all freaking amazing. We're going to start here with the Ace of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Moon energy. Clarifying for Sagittarius. Ace of Swords, Tower, Moon energy. Sagittarius. I feel here there is still going to be an opportunity that's going to be similar to the one that you're going to be missing here but these opportunities aren't going to be very often okay it's almost as if spirit god universe whatever you believe in has your back here okay it also could be a little bit of your strategy a little bit of your plan um, maybe you have already a couple investors or a couple business partners in mind however this is playing out but i do feel here you are being guided away from this opportunity for a specific reason so try not to hold on to that ending so much okay let the tower fall whenever the tower comes up i always try to remind everybody just let it just let it fall okay then you can recalibrate your energy after everything is said and done Okay, the challenge here, a need to take your time, a need to be strategic, Sagittarius, everything in order, everything in its place. Okay, if this is having to do it with a relationship, I feel like the view you and this person have of relationships is completely different. If the, this has to do with business, your view and this person's view of business is completely different. And that's why this is the way it is. Let it be. Okay. There are going to be new opportunities that are going to come your way. There are going to be people that are going to come into your life that are going to help you to elevate, to um, promote and prosper when it comes to business but i feel here that this person may be holding you back again let this tower fall sagittarius so let's pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you guys for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I'm not going to do an extended version to the reading. However, the annual version is linked below. I am also going to be attending some events as well as promoting. That is going to be coming up. So check that out. And Sagittarius, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So advice guidance moving forward here for Sagittarius please and thank you spirit so what I feel here Sagittarius is coming out is this situation that you're dealing with is very imbalanced it's become toxic okay and there's a need here to focus more on future business plans than current business plans or plans that are holding you back or people that are holding you back okay people that are no longer serving you're going to know where you're meant to focus your energy by how easy things come together, okay? If things flow easy, if they come together easy, if there's not a lot of resistance, then that's exactly where you need to focus your energy. If it's difficult, if it's hard, if you have to push, force, or make, that's probably 
a sign that there's a need to rethink or recalibrate your energy. Person, place, or thing. You guys are going to know you've intuitively, you have been intuitively, intuitively guided. Why am I having a difficult time speaking? Hmm. You have been intuitively guided, Sagittarius, already before this reading. But I feel that you may have been ignoring this for some time. That's the only reason why tower moments occur. Something that we were called to let go of that we've been ignoring. So your blessing message here, Sagittarius, don't take anything personally, release self-judgment. Even the opinions you have about yourself are not necessarily true. Therefore, you don't need to take whatever you hear in your own mind personally. Don't take anything personally. Release self-judgment. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So... Sagittarius, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing and I look forward to seeing, feeling, reading your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.